now you people are getting on my nerves. You're getting on my nerves. I'm going to tell you that right now. You're getting on my damn nerves. Ladies and gentlemen, before I sit up there and introduce anything, before I get into these reads, Jonathan Winthrop, before I get Jonathan, stop laughing at me. Look, ladies and gentlemen, there is no truth whatsoever to these bogus rumors that I jumped on the basketball court in Philadelphia last night and stopped the fight between Eric Bledsoe and Joel Embiid. That was not me. Okay? It was not me. I was on the other side of the arena. First of all, I'm a little lighter in weight. I must admit the head is about that size and so is the hairline. So I can understand. The plausible mistake. But we live in an age of technology where you can zoom in and zoom out. Zoom in, as my man Kevin Hart would say, and zoom out. You could see that that's not me. I'm not jumping into the middle of of, 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 of this, this pit bull that is Eric Bledsoe along with the seven foot one Joel and B. I'm not jumping in the middle of that. I did not at all run onto the court and stop a fight between Bledsoe and Embiid. It was not me. I cannot believe that this stuff has gone viral. I cannot believe that people have been talking about it all, all over social media. I cannot believe that I got bosses sitting up there wanting to call me into their office because they thought it was me jumping onto the court instead of leaving such responsibilities to the great NBA security members that the National Basketball Association has. It was not me. I was in the arena in the back. I was in the media room drinking some lemonade. And then after that, I came out and saw Allen Iverson. And if you don't believe that, check social media because he put a picture of him and I hugging on the damn social media. Okay? It was not me. I didn't know such thing. But I got to tell you, damn, from a distance, it did look like me. Yeah, I, I have to admit, I damn, you know, my head size and, you know, the hairline, it, it, you know, my man Bomani Jones just finished making fun of me sitting there, Stephen A. I said, I might have to go ball. My head, that, that, that hairline, people think it was me. It might be time for me to go ball. Bomani said, come on home, Steve. Stephen A, come on home, baby. Come on over to the side. You know, it's about that time because he's bald. He said, let it go. Let it go. I'm trying to hold on. I don't give a damn if I look like George Jefferson. Don't bother me. I'd rather do that than be bald. That's just me. That's just me. But I got to tell y'all something right now. I do, I, I just, for, just, just, just to be clear, I do think I look pretty damn good for 51 years old. I must confess. I mean, any time... And this is not to disrespect anybody from my alma mater, Winston-Salem, or anything like that. But anytime I have a, 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 a diminished level of confidence, all I do to boost myself is go back to homecoming. That's all I do. I go back to homecoming, and I see the people that I went to school with, and I'm like this. I am doing just fine. And the minute I see that, I'm like, I'm doing just fine. I'm, not, I'm all right. I'm all right. Because, I mean, some people that was going to school in the late 80s and early 90s, would I put myself up against them? That's all day, every day. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry to say that. 